Hello and welcome to a slightly soggy A Wheel Thing TV. I'm Dave Canole. This week we are checking out the Ford Focus ST. Well it's certainly one of the most unusual colours that you'll find on a car. It certainly glows in the dark almost all by itself and uh, beautiful looking alloy wheels on it. A very aggressive looking front end on the 2015 Ford Focus ST and with that uh, Cracker Jack turbo petrol engine underneath the bonnet certainly goes, sounds great, looks the goods on the road but the main comments from many many people was the fact that it was such a very bright colour. For the size of the car it's got a pretty decent amount of cargo space as you can see of course a little bit of uh, cover there as well which is detachable from the rear window line just up here with those two little straps but certainly more than enough for a week's worth of shopping for an average family of four. Ford Focus ST interior, well it's been like this for a couple of years since the car came to Australia and still has that slightly messy interface, uh, really would like to see that tidied up a fair bit but it is a very user friendly car once you get it out on the road, this turbo engine, the 6 speed manual doesn't come with heated seats though, unlike the, uh, the Cougar which is based on this particular car also the radio unit itself doesn't come with a digital tuner which is a bit of a shame but you still get a lot of information on the screen itself that trip computer as you can see giving you all the information and accessible via the flick of that little switch just through here out on the road that turbo engine is the absolute firecracker we've always known it has been and will continue to be for as long as Ford continue to stay with it. It's an absolute ripper. Mated to a six speed manual transmission, it's got plenty of boost when required, except when you're down in the low revs and you're in about fourth or fifth gear, it does struggle to, uh, to get up. Once you get it to about 2500 RPM, you get this nice rorty feedback coming through the exhaust into the, uh, the cabin. Uh, can be a little bit tiresome, would be a nice feature to be able to turn on and off if you don't require that kind of thing. Otherwise, this beautiful fluid sure-footed planted chassis on the road that the uh, the Focus has and always has had since the car was released some 15 odd years ago it's an absolute ripper on the on the road well it's been a slightly soggy day to record this I'm afraid but look at the end of the day the Ford Focus ST outshines any weather conditions the great chassis the turbo engine the amount of room that it's got and just the sheer drivability of the car makes it an absolute winner the Ford Focus itself has always been a very good car to drive the ST just takes it that little step further. For a Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.